I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with the winner, Frankie Stringer. Frankie, I've been at every one of your fights. Um, you've got an opponent there that came and gave you a fight, man. How did you enjoy it? Good, I enjoyed it. Float again, but I don't mind it. It's learning. I'm, I'm young. I'm fucking... Sorry, not allowed to. I'm young, so... Get all these early on in my career, so it'll learn, so... It seemed like he was roughing you up, he was putting his head in when you were in the clinch and stuff like that. I mean, this is going to happen in boxing, but you're needing these fights, you're needing to learn all these dirty, dirty tactics. It's all learning. For when I'm in the big fights in a few years, and I'll know what to do, and I'll... So just learn, it's good to have these these types of journeymen, so enjoy that. I mean, you're 3-0 now, um, you're, you're ticking along nicely, you're in a gym with Liam Smith, Kevin Ajago, uh, Thomas Hart, I think, as well, was in there. Josh Taylor's now in there as well. I mean, you're in a gym full of champions, so you must be loving it. Just learning. Josh Taylor's just come in. Can't ask for much better, so the gym's chocker, and it's all way world-class athletes, so can't ask for better. When you look at these guys in your gym and that, does that what, how much inspiration do you draw from that? Do you look at them and be like, that's going to be me one day? That's what I, I'm looking at them, thinking, I want to be what they're doing. I want to do what they've achieved in the sport, so it's boss and Liam just getting me out on bills out in December so just keeping busy so that's the main thing for a young fighter like yourself now again I always say this to young fighters some, they, they, sometimes they get frustrated that they, they don't get the stoppages and stuff like that but you're up against four rounds might be long, or not long enough and you're up against guys that turtle up and they, they, they're tight they survive so the longer rounds the opponents that are going to open up do you think you'll start seeing the stoppages later rounds uh, four rounds it's just a quick you can survive for four rounds but when I'm doing eight six slow the pace is slower you can pick your shots more so hopefully my next one or me one after that be six rounds so and I prefer that so I mean the Liverpool crowd they get behind their own this this was the card full of scousers I mean scouts boxing right now is, is legit and it's looking good through the roof and this is a little packed environment so I could hear it more yeah yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> oh, never. There you go, there you go, let me see him. Liam's probably sick of my face, man, not talking to me, but yeah. I mean, young kid, like this whole evening was full of young scouts' talent. How good is this one? Yeah, he's very good, obviously. The more you see him, the more you'll see the best of him. And obviously, you know, he's, gonna, he's a baby, he's a baby in this game. So, you know, you're going to be seeing a lot of him. And obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it, really. I will be. I spoke to young Frankie in his second fight at the MS and he, he seemed a little bit frustrated that he's not getting the opponents, they're not opening up for the, so he can land his shots and stuff, but you know better than anyone, it's the, it's the game, it's what you do when you're learning your craft. Look, I went there because he'd been told straight, um, and that's why he, ne he never fell into that trap today. He's got to understand that, that he's a young, well, it just sums up what I'm saying, he's a baby in this game, but obviously he thinks, you know, it's a bit of a, a bad word to say in January, but these people who are coming here to earn a wage, he thinks they're going to stand and have a fight with you. They've got they've, they've got wages, they've got to fight a week later, they've got probably got work tomorrow. You know what I mean? They're not going to stand and fight your fight. And I said that into I weren't here because I was boxing on the same show. You know, I was in the hotel, I went over here in time, but I told them, you know, they you need to learn. They, they'll say that. They'll whisper down your ear, come on, mate, I've got work tomorrow and all that. Like, I've heard it over the years, remember Peter Buckley and all that, say. They, they've done it for years, they've seen. Kids, he's going to box in the next two, three, four fights. I'll have seen a million of Frankie, and he's just got to learn. They're here to earn a wage. You're, you're here to learn, do a job, and see if you can get them out there. If you don't, so be it. It's not the end of the world. You'll start getting people out there who are coming to fight and open up. And obviously, you know, he's, he's 21, he's going to get better with age, too. I said to him about the gym with yourself, Josh Taylor, Kevin Ajago, Thomas Hart as well. I mean, right now, he's in a gym full of champions. So, I mean, talk about learning. There's no better people to learn from. No, obviously, like I say, he's going to keep picking up without even knowing it, with age, with just just having a, like I said, a sponge, you know, just watching people, soaking it in. Obviously, he's got a number of people to watch now, rather than just myself or just Thomas or, you know, in the gym, he's got Josh Taylor coming here now. So we just keep picking bits and pieces up off each and every one of us. I'm sure it's going to stand him well in the long run. I'll switch over. I'll ask you a question about Liam now. As a selfish boxing fan, Liam knows what the question I'm going to ask, but as a selfish boxing fan, I want to see him fight Chris Eubank Jr. Now, that's, the, that's not the journalist in me. That's a selfish boxing fan, because I think I can see knockdowns, cuts, everything in that fight. And for me, that sounds good to me. 
What happens if you fight Chris Eubank Jr? Beats him, stops him late. Stops him late. No pressure, Liam. No pressure. Oh boy, he had to say that. <laughs> Otherwise, he's not getting out before Christmas. <laughs> you know where your, you know your bread's buttered. Yeah, Liam, let's touch on it then. You're, you're good for December. Uh, Chris is obviously needing a fight. You're British, he's British, easy fight to make, Sky Sports. I mean, outside looking in, it seems simple. Is it that simple? It's simple, that, that, that's my that's my point of call, you know what I mean? It's simple to make and I'll be ready December. If, if you can't fight Conor Ben, I mean, it's a fight. I'm not, I'm, you know, people saying I'm chasing him or I'm, I'm think, calling him out and all that. I mean, it's a fight, he wants to fight. If he wants a big fight, I'm here, I'll fight him tomorrow. But, you know, if not, I'm not concentrating the rest of my career on Chris Eubank. I mean, it's a fight, if he wants to fight, if the public want to fight, and if Sky and Boxer want to fight, I'll sign tomorrow. One final one for you, Frank. You're talking to me about this this crowd, then the Olympia. I mean, there's nothing better than six young Scouse fighters coming through, taking over the crop when Liam retires and Calm retires, because we've already got Bellew and Paul Smith and Swifty, they've retired. So, I mean, there's there's big shoes, there's big sho <laughs> there's big shoes to fill. I use that crop to fill them shoes. Yeah, I hope so anyway. It's a good talent there on the show, so I hope so. Well, listen, but to talk and just keep yeah. rambling on on interviews. No, instead of just like, well, yeah, it was good. <laughs> yeah, it was sound. I, I, I can get Liam on a Zoom call. He's 25 minutes. I've asked him one question. <laughs> I'm just ramble on, and then you don't look shy in interviews. Then I'm just keep laying, talking. I'm Let yourself run away with him. You know, it sounds like you're not shy. But everything I know about the Smith brothers, they can talk. There you go. I know. Apart from Callum, Callum's probably the more quiet one than he's, he's the quiet one. But listen, well done tonight. Three and zero out in December. I'll be there. I'll see you soon, Frankie. Well done, Liam. Thank you. Nice thank you. Time, Cheers, man. guys. Thank you. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.